are on this sixth beautiful day of Black History Month and today's topic is Black women with learning disabilities who change the arts and literature. Author Octavia Butler blessed us with Afrofuturism novels including Kindred, Bloodchild and Other Stories, Dawn, Parables and Earth Seeds. Despite her many gifts, Octavia Butler didn't always feel like she was bright or intelligent. This was based on how she was treated by teachers and other children. They thought her falling behind academically was laziness and a desire not to complete her work. In actuality, she was magnificently brilliant, but had dyslexia. She turned to self-isolation by reading in the library and writing in her pink notebook because her peers bullied and attacked her for her disability. She was misgendered and called ugly and stupid to shame. Everyone didn't always support her voracious love of writing and reading and storytelling. As a young girl, her aunt Hazel once told her, Negroes can't write stories. This did not stop Octavia Butler, thankfully. She spoke life into herself with her pen and unique ambition. As you can see in her 1988 Commonplace Journal, she predicts, this is my life. I write best-selling books. Millions of people will read my books. I will find a way to do this. So be it, so see to it. Five years later, her novel, The Parable of Sower, shot to number one on the New York Times bestsellers list. Unlike white sci-fi writers, she foresaw a future with black people in it and not erased from it. She was a master of storytelling and predicting a future where our society was ravaged by global warming and upended by poor political leadership. Sound familiar? Her works were transformative by including Black history, African mysticism, and the inclusion of disability and queerness in her writings. Bonus fact, Oscar award winning actress, Octavia Spencer also has dyslexia. So there are two Black women with learning dis disabilities who made history. And learning disabilities do not hinder Black brilliance or black girl magic. They excel because of them, not despite them.